If given the choice, I'd sing in a deep, dark, emotionally scarred voice, screaming of betrayal, lusty, lusty rants of desire, anger, defiance, revenge. I'd bend, crawl, curse, pitch far the notes that sink into the bowels of hell. Sing like the commanding keys of a church organ, strong, moving, directing, marching in tune, daring them to sing hymns of redemption, timing delivery and departure, singing like chimes heralding the miracle of bread and wine into the body and blood of Christ, bowing between notes, pounding beats to grateful hearts, sing soft melodious lullabies in harmony with baby coos, lift notes that encourage touch, feeling, pave the future path, strengthen the soul, I sing with sounds beyond human reach, blend into angels' chorus, awaken the departed to its vibrations, evoke blessings between two worlds. I would sing in cool rhythm of trees, flowers, wind, and rain, hot to the indigenous throbbing breath of the unpredictable worlds, and surrender to the sound of Om. <laughs> to be. When all empty spaces fill with denial and you think you know what you don't know, you feel your life settled into what it should be. Your eyes close to the light. When you finally awaken to the results of your choices, it's too late. You face the shattered nerves of reality with open eyes. Pain reminds you how the easy decisions are now the hardest to reconcile. Wisdom comes on the tight rope of chance. I want to read this because it's still part of Earth Day. Earth Day. Sitting on the edge of the bed, many thoughts flash by my head, as in a train traveling fast, all the scenes, too much to grasp. Every step I pay a toll, I always more as I grow old. But there are moments I won't forget, full of joy and some regret. All the changes are in view, through the windows, old and new. Time travels by my side, from the moment born until I die. But till then, I will not complain. I traveled well on this earth plane.